Hello everybody. Today I'm bringing you a video demo of the Sense Hat from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The Sense Hat is the living, breathing heart of the AstroPi project. The AstroPi project is um, its mission is to send up two Raspberry Pis into the International Space Station with these hats attached. Um, I'm pleased to say that I've got one ahead of time, um, and they should now be on sale. Um, at CPC, the Pi Hut, um, probably other vendors as well and it'll be about £24 or $30 depending on where you live. The Sense Hat has got a number of different functions. It's got a bright 8x8 LED matrix, it's got a humidity temperature chip, it's got a pressure and temperature chip and it's also got a nine degrees of freedom IMU with an accelerometer, a gyroscope and a magnetometer. It's also got a cute little four-way joystick that also acts the push button when you um, just press it downwards. Um, the joystick's interesting because it mimics the um, up, down, left, right arrow keys and the carriage return. So when I press that on my Pi screen at the moment it's actually doing carriage return. Um, okay, so on to the interesting stuff. The Sense Hat comes with its own software library developed by um, Dave and Ben at the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and with it comes a set of scripts, example scripts. I'm going to run one of these. This one is called the Color Cycle. Hopefully that's showing up on the video. Seems to be some kind of strange aura around it, but I can say that that doesn't happen in real life. Okay, so that's the colour cycle. Um, there's one which is a compass, which tells you where north is. I'm not going to start moving that about because um, it's stuck to the ta table using blue tack. But the dot moves. Um, corresponding to where north is. The next one is a Pi game script that takes input from the joystick. As you can see it lights up depending on where I move it. And all these example scripts they've been written so that um, to give you the building blocks for creating your own um, systems and your own programs. Um, what else we got? We've got Rainbow, which, as you would expect, shows you a rainbow on the on the um, LEDs, and it kind of scrolls diagonally through a rainbow. It's very pretty. The next one just rotates, it's not showing up very well on the screen, but it rotates a question mark um, display icon um, through 360 degrees. It's very simple indeed to um, rotate something through 90 degrees on um, the Sense app. The next one is called Space Invader and takes it takes a sprite graphic and, display, and converts it into um, a dot matrix version of it and puts it on the screen. And the last one, which is probably the one that most people are going to use straight away, is the text scroll. Which is upside down at the moment. It says one st small step for a pie. And that would be fairly easy to um, correct so that it shows it the right way up. And that's it for the example scripts. Um, I downloaded some um, projects that people had done for the AstroPi competition. Um, one of these is a snake game, which Martin O'Hanlon wrote. I might be running out of time, so... Uh, Astro Pi Snake. And this is just a game that uses the joystick um, to control a normal snake game. 
just like you'd have in your mobile phone. I'm not very good at it. My top score is 110. Nothing adds 11 apples. So thank you, Martin, very much for creating that. It's a very hackable little script. Um, obviously, the snakes got getting faster, but it wouldn't take much to adapt the script to uh, to do that. So that's it for the snake. Bear with me just while I exit the program. Oh look, 120, that's my best score. Um, other things, I, other example program that I downloaded was the um, Apollo Sawyers that was written by Ben Nuttall at the um, Raspberry Pi Foundation. If I can find it. This one uses uses the accelerometer chip inside the um, inside the sense hat and lets you control a 3D object um, by tilting the sense hat and the whole pie. And hopefully it will appear on the screen in fairly short order. This is a Pi 2. It happens in about 30 seconds. Um, on a B plus, it's three or four minutes. But once it's up, it's it's fine. And there you go. There you have it. So if I pick it up and start tilting, my arm in the way, and start tilting it, you can see the spacecraft moves. It's all done with very complicated maths that I can't even begin to understand. And that's that script. And that is the sense hat. Um, I think you'll, you'll agree it's well worth the price.